very vocal crowd. This place seats 98 plus. It's not capacity, but you'd swear there was 15,000 people here, Mark. 1-4 flat. Aaron Jackson, here he goes. Evans. Yes, it's another three. Evans with nine. Coaching move by Ron Everhart. 340 to go in the game. Tied at 70. First round of the NIT here from Blacksburg. Aaron Jackson says, you can't pull that trick on me. I'm a veteran. <laughs> And the Hokies to throw it out of bounds. Another turnover for Virginia Tech. I mean, there, there's your senior stepping up. Right now, I want to play. I want to keep playing. I want to win. He's getting it done right now from uh, for his Duquesne team. All 36 minutes. He's averaging 36 and a half minutes. Ironically, he, Vasayo, and Delaney all average identical numbers, 36 and a half minutes. Jackson, he has that nice little step back. Well, he does, and what happened on that play right there? Oh, what a job! What an effort! What a great that hustle time. play. And Castle back on February 2nd, 2008. Now, see the best. Log on to ESPN.com. Vasayo knocks down both. We got a wrestling match tonight. I can tell you that. 72-70. So. They're wrestling it here in Blacksburg. And uh, in the second half, of both wrestling in the heavyweight division. And again, let's, let's watch tonight. Let's watch this possession. See if Duquesne again with a ball screen or some opportunity to get Aaron Jackson the basketball. Virginia Tech, Seth Greenberg, he's chosen now. We're going to chest up and try to take it out of Jackson's hands. Evans down two with the little runner and rattles out. You gotta like the courage though, the young freshman, not afraid to take that shot. Oh, the steal. Coast to coast. The rookie Bolding flushes it. He's got 15 and we're tied at 72. How about the fact that uh, those are the last two shots with from Duquesne are both from freshmen wow. in postseason on the road two freshmen stepping up there not afraid to make plays. Well they have enough of them. <laughs> They've got eight scholarship freshmen on the roster. Hokies remember earlier in the broadcast we talked about the close games that they lost this year. Vasile misses the runner and the rebounds chased down by Evans. The poise of a freshman Eric Evans right here. Ron Everhart has done a great job with this young man right here. Again, even though Virginia Tech is denying uh, Jackson the ball, you've got to find a way to go to him. Evans, a little stutter step with the left hand. He takes it in and scores again. Evans now in double figures with 11 points. How about the freshman? How about wow. that? All 11 in the second half for Evans, the rookie out of Detroit. 74-72 inside. Little body hang that time by Allen. Virginia Tech did a nice job right there. Having a little bit of poise, getting the basketball right where it's been good to him all night around the basket. Allen with 10 in the first half, 11 in the second half, 21 for the game, tied at 74. Inside 90 seconds, first round of the NIT. Penetrate, pitch. Virginia Tech did a great job closing out right there. Oh, a little off balance. I thought Evans kind of lost his balance. If it's intentional, <laughs> could be a technical foul if it was an intentionally done which obviously the officials don't think so tonight, but that could have been a technical if that was done intentionally. So they go from a 79% shooter to a 61. I guess uh, there's no way of uh, proving it if it was intentional unless they're extremely honest. 65 seconds to go in regulation. Tied at 74 peaks. Well, Ron Everhart's got a lot of confidence in Eric Evans as a freshman. I like that. He's, he's convincing his player that he believes in him right now again on the road in a tough situation like this. Duquesne looking for their first 22 win season since 1962. Clark, he's their leading three point shooter and he nails it. You talk about great coaching right there out of a timeout, penetrate pitch. You've got to give Ron Everhart a lot of credit right now. Here we go, 41 seconds to go. 77 74, Duquesne out of the Atlantic 10 looking for the upset. Vasayo. Whistle before the shot. Shot goes. It's waved off. Yeah, so he should. <laughs> Another good shooter, 82%. He's got 35 on the clock. Obviously, Virginia Tech cannot allow Duquesne to wind this clock down. Seth Greenberg wants to talk about it right here in the timeout. Six seconds to go. Seth is trying to notch the 19th win. They did a great job of beating the double team. They, they're moving the basketball, using some clock. There's a whistle there. Uh, the foul goes against Virginia Tech. Foul line. Bolden, 15 points. Rolls in his 16th. Shooting for a 17th point now. 
Virginia Tech's players have to understand now it's a two-point game, not a three. Malcolm Delaney takes it, gives it up. JT Thompson loses the handle, and the long rebound comes out to Visayo. 15 seconds to go. Visayo scores. Poise. He didn't hurry. Great shot by Visayo. 10 seconds to go. Can you ask for anything better than this? No way. March Madden is tied at 78. No timeouts left. Evans, little stutter step, puts it up. No. And you know what, coach? They said, let's keep playing. They're going to play some more.